So how does one set up proportions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And setting up proportions is a fraction problem. And I know we don't work too well with fractions overall. But once you identify what two things are being compared, setting them up is actually a relatively straightforward exercise as long as you're consistent with the decisions that you make. So here's a basic example. And uh, we'll set up the problem together. If seven cups of water are needed for three cups of sugar, how many cups of water are needed for eight cups of sugar. So what you have to decide is you have a proportion to make, but uh, you have to decide what thing you want to be the numerator and what you want to be for the denominator. Now, since water is mentioned before sugar, one easy way to you can form a proportion is to put water over sugar and then put the numbers in that way. But once you make that decision, you need to stick with it throughout the entire problem. Now, because seven cups of water, you will have seven in the numerator. And because you have three cups of sugar, you will have three in the denominator. And then on the other side, because you want to know how many cups of water are needed, because water you decided for the, is the numerator, you would put x on top. And then eight cups of sugar, you will have eight on the bottom. Now, if you had made the decision to put sugar on top of water, then it's the same exact idea. But you must be consistent on both ends. So for example, sugar for the first comparison is three cups. So you have three over the cups of water needed is seven. And then on the other side of the equation, because you have eight cups of sugar, that will be your numerator and the number of cups of water needed is x on the bottom. Whatever decision you make, you will get the same exact answer, but as long as you're consistent with your decision on both ends, you will be just fine. So I'm Jimmy, and that's an example as to how you set up proportions.